if you have done any scam baiting in the past, or have seen any videos about it, you probably know about the tree command and the trick scammers pull off with it. They run the tree command to make it look like you're scanning your computer, and meanwhile they type out a message for you to see when the command is done. But what if the command was never done? I thought it would be funny if I programmed a version of the tree command that lasts forever, and so I did. I'm going to show you how to use it. So before we begin, I'd like to say you should not do this on your host machine, since we have to tamper with system files, deleting the wrong file could screw up your computer. As you can see, I'm doing it on a virtual machine, which I recommend you do also. Anyway, first we need to download the actual application, the fake tree command. I will put a link to the file in Google Drive in the description. Just click the download button and save the file to your PC. Okay. So, now we have to remove the system command, the tree command that is already on the computer. So to do this, we first need to copy some text. Let's go to this PC, the local disk or the C drive, users, and then find the one with your username on it. And you wanna press properties and make sure you copy the name. Or at least remember it and now that we have that we can go and delete the actual file so let's go back to the C drive Windows find the system 32 folder right there and now we gotta find a file called tree or tree.com so we're just gonna scroll down until we find it should be like right over here right there so as you can see we can't just delete it like any other file when we try it'll say you need permission from a trusted installer a quote unquote trusted installer to make changes to this file So this prevents normal users who don't know what they're doing from screwing up their computer, but as long as you follow the instructions and do it on a virtual machine like I'm doing, nothing bad will happen. So to bypass this, we gotta right click on the file, and press properties, and then we gotta go over to security, and then we gotta press advanced, and you should see something like this panel. So right here where it says trusted install installer, there's a change button right here. You gotta press that. And then you gotta remember or have that username we copied earlier. So for example, mine is Ethan. Press check names. And it should make this little directory here. And then you can press OK. So what that did was it gave us permissions as the owner of this file. So now we can go and change some different permissions so the last thing we need to do before we can delete the files go over here press edit you gotta go to administrators and then give you full control now you will have full control over this file and you can delete it like any other normal file so let's just press delete continue and as you see there was no problem this time now, we can go back to that file we downloaded earlier. Make sure that it is the file name is tree. And then we gotta move it to the folder that we were just at. Right here on system 32. Paste it. And now, when we open command prompt, and use the tree command there is a chance that you will get this error when trying to run the fake tree command I want to show you how to fix it so to fix the error we have to install Microsoft Visual Studio because it includes some C++ packages that are necessary to run this program so 
I will put a link to the download in the description. Just press community free download and it should start downloading. You can open the installer, wait for it to load. allow it to make changes to your device continue okay so now we will have to choose a few different packages for us to install and these packages are going to allow us to run the tree command that package that we need to get is desktop development with C++ select the package right there MSCBV12 and Windows 10 SDK and then press install this might take a while especially on a virtual machine since they're pretty slow now after installing it you should be able to use the tree, infinite tree command like so So this will hopefully waste a lot of scammers time, or at least will be funny to watch them try to improvise after seeing our infinite command. Thank you for watching, and please consider subscribing as I'm planning on making more videos like this. Goodbye.